This local sports report is presented by Homewood Suites by Hilton of Cambridge Waterloo, a proud supporter of local sports. Call now to take advantage of Homewood's sport rate offer and receive a discount for your accommodation. Homewood is your home away from home for tournaments and special events. Book your stay now by calling 519-651-2888 or visit Cambridge Waterloo homewoodsuites.com We are here in Cambridge today to share the exciting success story of this young man beside me. His name is Caleb Cater and you are going to the United States on a tennis scholarship going to Spring Arbor University in Michigan this coming fall. Uh, first of all, congratulations, Caleb. Absolutely awesome for you. Uh, what are some of the feelings for you, you know, making this commitment and signing that paper? Yeah, so it's a really big commitment. I'm super excited. I think it's going to be a great opportunity to get my education and play some amazing college tennis. I'm super excited. Uh, tell me what your game is like, what it's all about in terms of it. Is, is it a big serve? Is it forehand, backhand, those kind of things? And what you think has made you successful in the game so far? Yeah, so I would say my game is more of an aggressive baseline game. So mm -hmm. I'm really, I stay near the baseline and just play really aggressively. I think some of my strengths are definitely my serve and my forehand are definitely my two biggest strengths and those are very big key factors in my success. I think one of the neat things about your story is that your parents, uh, Mike and Jen, they met on the tennis court here in Preston, you know, way back in 1989. Obviously, they've been an influence on you in terms of introducing you to the game and probably helping you fall in love with the game. Uh, but, but you tell me, what kind of impact and difference have your parents made in terms of not only your growth as a tennis player, but just, you know, falling in love and the passion that you've got for the sport? Yeah, so they're responsible for me falling in love with the sport. I, since I can remember, I've had a tennis racket in my hands <laughs> playing either on the court or in my front yard with a little uh, setup net. Mm -hmm. But they've been a great influence on my game, and I couldn't be here without them. Where does your passion come from? Partly family, but you've also got to love it as well, right? You know, when did you start playing tennis, and when did it really click for you that maybe this was something that you could pursue at a post-secondary level? We'll get into Preston High School in a minute. I know you played a little bit of Wicks at tennis in high school, um, but beyond that, you know, you take a look at when it really, you know, you said to yourself, this is something that I can do, and you know what, maybe take this to a university level like you are at Spring Arbor. Yeah, I started playing tennis competitively when I was 11 years old, and ever since then I've been playing tournaments, training every single day of the week, plus off-court training to up my game. And I think I knew I wanted to go play secondary, uh, post-secondary tennis in the States mm -hmm. since I was 11. That's always been a goal and a dream of mine, to go play some amazing tennis down the States. Why was Spring Arbor? the best fit. You get an academic and athletic scholarship which speaks only not only to your skills on the tennis court but also your smarts in the classroom and I think that's a great message to share that you need not only academics but you know or athletics but you also need academics in order to achieve opportunities like this and, and well done on your part to have both of those Thank facets you. coming together uh, but you know you, you tell me you know why was it the best opportunity for you to kind of continue your tennis career at the next level? Yes so this school is very competitive and has a great tennis team. I also feel very comfortable at the school. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful school School and it has my program. I'm going to study air, uh, mechanical engineering there and possibly do a master's degree in aerospace engineering. So I think that school is overall, I'm going to fit in the best at this school. We were talking a little bit above, uh, off camera just about some of your future goals, right? And you're going to go there and like you say, you're going to have a great experience, yes. you know, playing four years of tennis. But, you know, big picture, what are some of the things that you have interest in? You know, you talk about engineering and different things like that. What are the future goals? You know, you have, you'll, you'll love tennis. You'll love yeah. tennis at the post-secondary level in Michigan in the United States. Um, but, you know, there's a lot more for you in the future as well. Yeah, so currently I'm getting my pilot's license and that's also one of the next steps for me to get a great career in the future. I'm planning on get, going to the aviation field in the yep. future and pursuing my love for aviation and tennis. Let's talk about Preston High School. There's nothing quite like Panther Pride. I know everybody loves the high school and, and the teachers there, and they do a wonderful job of developing, you know, not only athletes, but, you know, student athletes that are prepared to come out of high school and go on to the next level. You had the opportunity to play some junior tennis there. Can you just speak to the Preston experience, you know, not only in the classroom, but obviously as well as, as athletically, um, and some of the teachers that, that taught you and some of the teachers that made a difference for you? Yeah, for sure. So Preston High School is a great school. It's it's like family. It feels at home there. And the tennis teams, it's super competitive. I would like to thank Miss Hiscott and Miss Jones, the two tennis coaches when I was playing there for an awesome season. 
What do you rate the growth of tennis to? And I think we've seen it the last couple of years, the continued growth of tennis. You know, you see Bianca Andreescu wins the U.S. Open in 2019, the Australian Open going on right now. Felix Oje Aliassime, uh, Denis Shapovalov, obviously have become huge names in tennis. You know, Milos Ronic carried that torch for the last couple of years in yes. terms of becoming really well known. Uh, why has the sport exploded you know we were talking a minute ago just about there it's tough to get times to get out on the court right yes. which is a good thing because yeah. it means the sport's continuing to evolve and grow um you know you're you're 17 years old um you know take me through how you've seen it grow just in your short time yeah so i think very the biggest factor in the growth of tennis is definitely the big names in the professional tennis right now especially the canadian names i think the canadian tennis players are definitely showing that Canada can be very competitive with the other countries. And they're just being a great influence to every kid who wants to either play tennis or get into the sport or pursue it as a dream. Some of the clubs around here, you know, go through them, some of the people that have helped you, whether they be hitting partners, you know, or some of the coaches. I know you've been to a couple of clubs locally here, you know, throughout your development and your growth as a tennis player. Uh, you know, get into them a little bit and just the impact they had on your development, Caleb. Yeah, so I've played at a couple clubs. To name uh, two of them is Royal City Tennis Club and yeah. GSM Tennis Club. Those are the two clubs that have impacted my success the most, and I, I can owe it all to them. Um, some of the coaches that have definitely impacted my success is the Greenans, Mark and Harry Greenan, and Tom Dinka, Sandra Dinka, and Mark Molnar mm -hmm. and uh, Sonia Molnar are some of the coaches that have definitely pushed me to the next level. Speaking of pushing you to the next level, I know that your dad's been a major influence yeah. as well. We talked about a few minutes ago, you know, his love of the sport and being involved at a young age and, you know, meeting your mom in the tennis court and, and that stuff. Uh, you know, he's been just a major factor, I would imagine. Can you speak yes. to um, just the guidance of your dad, not only as a tennis coach, but as a mentor, you know, to help you kind of achieve this? Because I think it's a really great, you know, bloodline story between a father and a son, ultimately, and, you know, just the impact he had on you. Caleb. Yeah, so he had the biggest impact, definitely, for sure. He He's pushed me through all these years since I started playing, and I definitely owe 100% of the success to him. I definitely would not be here without him. Mm -hmm. I've He's worked me through the ups and downs of my game. He's worked me through on and off-court training, yep. and he is there for me whenever I need help. Last one for you. I always like to end these interviews by having the athletes give their shout outs you know we talked yeah. about a lot of people over the course of this interview but i know that there's a ton of people that helped develop you into the young man that you are today you know that's yes. that's ready for this opportunity you know to go south and, and do your craft and do what you love yeah. uh go ahead caleb give your shout outs and your thank yous yeah. to the people that made a difference definitely my shout outs go to my parents jen and mike katar for sure and my sister delilah katar they have been huge support for me and my coaches my dad um, Tom Dinka, Sandra Dinka, yep. um, Mark and Harry Greenan, definitely for sure. Uh, Eric Molnar, like I said, and Sonia Molnar for sure. And uh, Gabe as well. Gabe owns GSM Tennis Club, and definitely he's given me great opportunity to keep playing for sure. And thank you for all the people that I've missed. I'm sure I've missed some, <laughs> but uh, thank you for everybody who's been a big part of my tennis career and my success. Everyone at Preston, I know locally the different coaches and hitting partners that you've had, and all of us here at 519 Sports Online, we're certainly proud of you. Great to see you go on yes, to the next level. You. This is Caleb Cater, who is heading to Spring Arbor University in Michigan this coming fall. Congratulations. Great to meet you. An awesome job yeah, on you, you know so achieving this dream. Thank you so much. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.